Just close your eyes and lift your hands and sing it. I'm no longer. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. Yes. I'm no longer a. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. I am a child I'm no longer a I'm no longer a slave to fear Why? Because I am a child You are proud of me You are proud of me With the melody With the
name of I take authority against that foul spirit of witchcraft that wanted to pray at you. I command you to come out. Go! I lose your throat. I lose your chest. I command healing to go through your body now. I cancel the form of souls in your chest.
body and chest. So I need that's it. Now this transformation the Lord is beginning. I'll talk to the Lord as he says to inquire as he has come into it. So the Lord can begin. Yeah, I'm right. 
to do the work of God. Hallelujah. That is the whole purpose. That is the whole purpose. It says for the work of the ministry. What next? For the edifying of the word of Christ. That means to build you up. Like the way when you go for uh, muscle training, you build up your muscles. The same way when you come here, I'm building you up spiritually. Hallelujah. You are building up. Verse 13. Till we all come to the unity of the faith. So can you see? God wants to come in the unity of the faith. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. And to a perfect man. So God wants to develop. And to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Verse 14. Why? That we ask be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine. So can you see children, they go to every prophet. There's a prophet that's coming in the land, they go there. Another prophet come, they go there. Another prophet come, they go there. Those are children. Or when you mature, you settle. When you mature, you sit at one place and you allow God to mature you. Hallelujah. And you allow God to develop you in the name of Jesus. I see you developing in the name of Jesus. As I said, you in the name of Jesus. So children, they go to everything. They go to everything. But mature people, when they find the place that God has protected for them, they stay. They grow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I see this reason why God has given me to you is to mature you, number one. And also to take, to help you take a place in the service of God. Number three, to build you up into Christ. Number four, to grow your faith and increase your knowledge of God. And number five, to protect you from deception. So can you see the world is full of deception? And there's a lot of things happening. So if you are not built up, you can become a victim of evil men around us. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. God wants you to grow. Say with me, God wants me to grow. grow. Say again, God wants me to grow. grow. The Lord wants you to grow. Hallelujah. And in our teaching, I gave you the number one way you can grow in the spirit. The number one way you can grow in the spirit and taught you is feeding on the word of God. Feeding on the word of God. Hallelujah. That is the first way you become mature in the spirit. Hallelujah. Feeding on the word. Feeding on the word. Like right now this evening, you are feeding on the word. Something is happening to you. Hallelujah. You are becoming mature. You are developing inside in the name of Jesus. So the number one way you develop spiritually is feeding, feeding, feeding on the weight. Hallelujah. Feeding on the weight. First Peter chapter 2 verses 2. First Peter chapter 2 verses 2. First Peter 2 verses 2. The Bible says this. First Peter 2 verses 2. The Bible says this. As newborn babes. So you can when you became born again, you were born a child. You were born a child. Like this child today the mother has. She was born a child. But through feeding on milk, through feeding on porridge, and through feeding, the, the, the baby is developing. Hallelujah. So the same also, you got to feed on the word of God for you to grow up. For you to develop into a mature Christian. Hallelujah. That is the purpose of God. That's what God wants. He says, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. So can you see, by feeding on the word of God, you grow. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. By feeding on the word of God, there's a growing that happens in something. That you may grow thereby. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. Now, listen to this. In the spirit, you don't grow old. Inside you, 
you are not aging. Lift your right hand, say after me, say in my spirit. I'm not aging. So inside your spirit, you are not aging at all. But outside, you are becoming old. Your wrinkles are coming. Your hair is becoming white. Alright? You are growing. Your face is changing outside. So physically, you are, you are aging. But spiritually, you don't age. Spiritually, you are not aging at all. So in the spirit, only two things is happening. You are either remaining a baby or weak, or you are becoming mature or developed. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That's why we've got people that are 70 years in body, but they are two months old in the heart. So you can see somebody is old in age, behaving like a child, in actions, behaving like a child in ways, behaving like a child in emotions. Everything got them. But they are old people. Small problem, they cry. Small problem, they, they, they roll on the floor. That's a sign that this one is a baby. Hallelujah. But I pray for you as the word comes into you. May you grow in the name of Jesus. I say, may you grow in the name of Jesus. So, he says, as newborn baby desire the sincere milk of the way. Hallelujah. That you may grow thereby. So how do you grow? Feeding on the word of God. Then you Jesus. I said, then you Jesus. That is why when you grow old inside your heart you must be developing you must become wiser in your mind when you begin to grow older you must become wiser in your mind hallelujah become wiser in your mind thank you Jesus I said thank you Jesus and also become stronger in your spirit Become wiser in your mind. Become wiser in your mind. You become stronger in your spirit. Every time you are growing up, you become very wise in your mind. And you become strong in your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't worry, something is happening to me. As God is waiting ready. Now, in the physical, the proof for health body is hunger. When you are hungry, when you get hungry, it's a proof for health. When somebody is sick, they have no appetite. In the physical. So also in the spirit, the proof that you are growing spiritually is hunger for the word. Hunger for the word. Hallelujah. When you begin to hunger after the word of God, it's a sign you are maturing spiritually. Hallelujah. It means you're becoming very healthy in the spirit. But if you don't want a word, you don't hunger for the word, a word, a day can go without reading the Bible. A day can go without meditating on the word. You don't want to be in the place where the word of God is being taught. The sign that you are not healthy, you are a child inside. You are sick in the spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. That is why you need to desire the word of God. You must desire this word of God because this word of God will cause you to grow. It will empower you to develop. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. First Corinthians 4 16. First Corinthians 4 16. 1 Corinthians 4 16, the Bible says this. 1 Corinthians 4 16, the Bible says this. 1 Corinthians, sorry, 2 Corinthians, not first. 2 Corinthians 4 16, the Bible says this. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man is perishing. So, can you see? Your outward man is becoming old. It's perishing. That's why when you begin to grow old, you will never have the same energy to run when you are 20. But inside you, must become powerful. Must become stronger. Hallelujah. 
must become wiser on the inside of you. So when you grow old, don't allow it to become dull. Must become sharper and intelligent. Hallelujah. I pray for in the name of Jesus. May God open your inner man. Hallelujah. That's why everything is connected to you. When you grow stronger in the spirit, no one can oppress you in the night. No one can wake evil things against you because you are strong in the spirit. Hallelujah. Strong in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. So our outward man is perishing and arrogant. But, but, though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So your spirit must become stronger every day. Must become stronger every day. Must become stronger every day. Because man is a spirit. Say I'm a spirit. You are a spirit. You are the soul. You walk in this body or you live in this body. So the real man who is the spirit must become stronger. Must develop. Hallelujah. When you develop inside, your body will be healed. Your mind will be restored. Your finances will be restored. Your marriage will be restored. Hallelujah. Because every problem you have is a spiritual problem. So when we solve your spirit problem, we have solved all your problems. Hallelujah. So our outward man is perishing. That is why the earth also is perishing. Getting old. This for earth is getting old. That's why in Malawi, now that cycle. That's killing people. The earth is saying, I'm tired also. It's becoming old. Because the same material the earth is made up of. The same material also your body is made up of. So as you're growing old, also the earth is becoming old. So you can see the tsunami can come. It's not the devil. But the devil can walk into it and kill people. But actually, the gate itself is becoming age, age death. It's been growing old, so it's growing, mm, I'm old now. So, what that will come? Carry people, carry houses, carry things. Hallelujah. But inside, you've got to develop. I say, you've got to develop. In the name of Jesus, you've got to develop on the inside. You must develop on the inside. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. So your spirit cannot age. But your spirit can become weak. And when your spirit is weak, even a small ethne can kill you. When your spirit is weak, even a small just flu can kill you. But your spirit is strong. Your body is very strong. Hallelujah. Your mind is very strong. You are very sharp. Don't get tired anyhow. Hallelujah. Much, much fatigue is a spiritual problem. That's why there are people when they go to bed when they sleep, they just wake up tired. Even after sleeping from, from 7 p.m. to 10 in the morning, they are still tired. It's a sign of the weak spirit. But I'm praying for you that as you feed on the weight, May your spirit become stronger in the name of Jesus. Strong spirit equals strong mind equals a strong body. Hallelujah. Now, when you develop in the spirit, you start learning to pray for yourself. When you develop in the spirit, you learn to pray. For example, when Satan attack you, you can defend yourself. But babies, we can still help them. They can come to us, we help them. But for a particular period of time, I must make sure you mature also. So that when something comes, you can stand up and defend yourself. Hallelujah. Mature people, they must learn to pray for themselves. Because if for five years and six years I'm still praying for you, there's a problem there. I must make sure that I grow up. When your child is sick, you lay your hand there and say, In the name of Jesus, sickness come out of my child. Hallelujah. It means you're growing, you're developing. Thank you, Jesus. I said, Thank you, Jesus. 
Number two, when you develop in the spirit, you learn to hear the voice of God for yourself. You learn to hear God's voice inside you for yourself. Do you know why people are just saying, oh, what is God saying? What is God saying? What is God saying? They are children. But no problem, we can help them for now. But there must be a time you must develop. You must grow and begin to hear God for yourself. Hallelujah. Hmm? What if you go and my phone is off? What are you going to do? You're going to freak out. <laughs> so when you grow, when something comes, you handle it in the name of Jesus. You handle it by the word of God inside of you. You handle it by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you handle it by the Holy Spirit inside of you. That means we are growing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Number three. When you grow in the Spirit, you get answers from God for yourself. You get answers from God for yourself. Hallelujah. You get answers from God for yourself. You know, there's a time a child, even at school, the mother can never write for a child. Two plus two, the mother must not say two, it's four. The child must say four. The child must learn to get two plus two is four. Hallelujah. The same way God is expecting you also to get answers for yourself. May you grow in the name of Jesus. I said, may you grow in the name of Jesus. Come and sit there. You must develop. Hallelujah. As I'm taking my time, because I want this word to enter. So number one, you grow by feeding on the word. Number two, you grow. The second way you develop or you grow, number two, it is you develop in your ways. Say my ways. Say so my ways. How do I know you are growing? You grow in your ways. If you are still talking like a baby, you are still in a gentle mature. Babies, they don't have to control their tongue. Everything that they want to say, they say. They are babies. But when you grow spiritually, you put a break on your mouth. Say on my mouth. There is a break here. You don't talk what you feel. I'm going to tell them my mind. You're just a child. Relax. Hallelujah. That's hallelujah. Babies, they talk anyhow. They say anything that comes from their mind. They say what they feel. But when you mature, you no longer say what you feel, you no longer say what you think. You say what is right, and you say what is in the heart. Hallelujah. This is an opportunity. So number two way to prove you are growing is you put bread on your mouth. When you are a child, everything is no problem. Every small problem you are jumping and talking. That's the sound of a baby. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11. First Corinthians 13, 11. First Corinthians 13, 11. The Bible says this. When I was a child, I spoke. I spoke as a child. So can you see, when somebody is a child, they talk as a child. In their speech, they speak like a child. Did you hear that? I understood like a child. That means you understand like a child. I thought like a child. So if you are a child, you speak like a child, you understand like a child, you think like a child. I know you are growing. If the same issue that was controlling you are no longer controlling you, hallelujah, you are controlling them. 
If disease was controlling you, you control it in the name of Jesus. If addiction was controlling you, are controlling it. It's a sign that you are developing. So number two, you put a break on your mouth. That's the sound of glory. Now babies, they say what they feel. How to know a baby? In their mouth, there's what there's only these things. I feel, I feel, I feel, I just feel, I just feel. Babies are feeling rude. I feel like so the babies, every feeling they respond to it. They are super nervous. Because their spirit is very weak. So whatever they feel, they respond to it. But I still grow in the name of Jesus. As I still grow in the name of Jesus. Babies respond to every feeling. I feel pain. I feel pain. That's a baby. I feel pain. I feel pain. That's your baby. When you develop, when pain comes, you don't say I feel pain. You say in the name of Jesus, pain be gone. Hallelujah. That's a mature person. That's a mature person. Hallelujah. That's a mature person. They don't say what they feel. They say what they want to feel. They say what they want to feel. You get this? I have a headache. I have a headache. Okay. What are you seeing there, the baby? They are saying what they feel. But when you mature, when they come, you say in the name of Jesus, a day be gone. Hallelujah. You now say what you want to feel. And God will be responding to you in the name of Jesus. When you say what you feel, you will have it. It will remain on you. Don't say I'm sick. Start saying I'm healed. Hallelujah. Say I'm healed. Say loud that I'm healed. Say loud that I'm healed. That's what you must say. You are not maturing. And God will heal you. Why? Because you say you are healed. So God begin to perfect you because you are saying you are healed. So healing become yours in the name of Jesus. That's how you get it from God. Babies, they say, I don't have money. When there's no money in the pocket, Babies, they say, I don't have money. I don't have money. I'm broke. Those are babies. Matua, man. They say, the Lord shall supply money. Hallelujah. Money is coming in the name of Jesus. Those are matua, man. Matua, man, they know that everything I want to get from God comes through my words. Say my words. That's why from today, you have to drain your mouth. Only to say what God says. Hallelujah. I'm only to say what you want to see in your life. So from today, never call your sister sick anymore. You have to say, the healed of the Lord. Hallelujah. And now, what are you doing? You are perfecting the healing power of God in the morning. Because God has begun to heal her. Now your mouth must match the healing power. <coughs> and this whole issue of saying, how do you feel? Is how you kill someone. Don't ask somebody, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Uh -huh. Look at them and say, hey, he is taking place. God has healed you. Aha. Uh -huh. You are now doing the will of God. Hallelujah. You are now releasing the power of God in the name of Jesus. So it's about to talk. Love your hand, love your hand, love your hand. So do you see the one I'm trying to show you? Mature people, they speak what they want to see. Because everything in this world came by weights. Your clothes you were wearing came through weights. God is spoke them. The air on your head came through weights. Your shoes you are putting on. Your slippers you are putting on came through weights. Hallelujah. Everything answers to weights. That's why you must control your weights. Control your mouth. Speak what you want to see. Speak what you want to feel. Speak what you want to experience. Hallelujah. Babies, they say what they feel. 
But to our people, they say what they want to feel. Babies, they say what they don't have. I don't have this. I don't have this. Those are babies. But to our people, they say, God is bringing these things to us. These things must come in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't say what you don't have. Say what you have. You say, I can do all things. Hallelujah. Through Christ who strengthens me. You must say, I'm becoming stronger in my body. Hallelujah. Babies speak what they don't have. Mature people, they say what they have. Are you getting this? As I get in this, so when I was a child, I spoke like a child. Hallelujah. Now, how does God change things? I'm going to make your drawing spiritually here, here, here. There's no better proof of a man who's drawing like here. If I hear, yeah, I'm so broke. Life is so tough. I know a baby is talking. Because mature people don't talk like that. Mature people, they know I can change this situation through my ways. Hallelujah. Now let me ask you a question. What if every word you spoke came to pass? What if every word you spoke came to pass? Imagine God just said, Look at you die. You die. Because God believes every word he speaks come to pass. Take your right hand, place your mouth. Say in the name of Jesus. My mouth. I must control you. From today, I will speak as God said. Don't say what you feel. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. As hallelujah. Amen. Even when you feel like you are cursed, don't say I'm cursed. You say I can never be cursed. The blessing of Abraham is on me. I am blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Even when you feel like you are dying, say no, 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 no. I shall not die. I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how you come out. That's how you come up. That's how you win in the name of Jesus. So maturity is on your tongue. Don't say what you feel. Don't say what you are seeing. Say what you want to see. Hallelujah. Amen. That's hallelujah. Amen. Let's practice a bit. Lift your right hand. Say, after. say I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm a blessed child. The blessing of God is on me. I am blessed. Who is blessed? Who is blessed? Who is blessed? You are blessed. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you, Jesus. These are part of teaching, my friend. They'll set you free. I said, they'll set you free. In the name of Jesus. Now, Every part of your body you want to change. Every part, any part of your body you want to change, it will be changed by your weights. Any part of your body, any. How do you change your thoughts? You change your thoughts by changing what? Your weights. You don't change your thoughts by changing thoughts. Uh -uh. You start speaking what you believe. As you are speaking, you are changing your thoughts. You change your body from being sick to being healed by speaking healing to your body in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You talk your way out of being broke to being rich in the name of Jesus. Like we were saying yesterday, we are rich. We are blessed. Prosperity is here. That's what we are experiencing. That's what we are about to experience. Because we believe we are blessed change. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to show you how I want to come out. But first, I want to come out of this. That's how you come out. Gear your mouth and tell your mouth only to speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Don't say I can't. Don't say I've tried. Uh -uh. You must say me. I'm coming out of this. Hallelujah. I'm conquering this in the name of Jesus. Don't say 
I can't. Don't say I'm trying. Don't say I'm trying. Say I'm not trying. Me, I'm coming out. Hallelujah. Me, I'm conquering in the name of Jesus. As you do that, my friend, the power of God begins to work on your behalf. To help you come up and come out. Oh, praise God. I say, praise God. It's very powerful. So when you mature, your tongue changes. That's how I know that in the spiritual joy. Because the Bible says in Matthew 12, 34, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So I know you are growing. When I see you can go two days, three days, you don't miss it on your tongue. On your what? Tongue. Say my tongue. Yeah. Say again my tongue. Yeah. You go two days, you don't speak negatives. It means you're growing. You go the whole week, you don't talk negative. It means you're growing. But me, this after uh, uh, don't do like that. Say me, I am one of, I am an overcome. Hallelujah! I overcome this in the name of Jesus. I overcome this by the power of God. Hallelujah! That's how you come out. That's how you come up. Don't say I don't have a job. I don't have a job. I don't know if I'm gonna get a job. You never get one. You have to say no. The Lord gives gives me jobs. I'm getting one in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. That's how you get the job. If you've got a problem of smoking, that's how you come out of smoking. When you light up smoke, as you are puffing, you say, in the name of Jesus, I'm coming out of this smoking because I'm victorious. Hallelujah. After again, puffing again, say again, in the name of Jesus, I'm coming out of this smoking. Hallelujah. So that's already a direction. That's how you come out. But I said, I'm smoking. Should I say that? Yes, that's how you come out. Again, after just finishing one, you feel smoking another one. When you light up another one, say, ah, as you are lighting up, as you are lighting up, after, say, in the name of Jesus, I'm coming out of smoking. Hallelujah. And you mean business. After smoking three of them, say, in the name of Jesus, I'm coming out of smoking. Hallelujah. My friend, if you do that for a long time, the power of God reach when they woke up. One man was free from tobacco by that action. After doing it, say I'm coming out. And again, after doing it, say I'm coming. That's how you come out. Because your weights take you out into deliverance. Your way take you down and up. Say it. I'm showing the way to victory. Because if you don't hear something here, nothing will change. Because everything starts by here. Are you blessed? If someone has a drug problem, they inject themselves. After injecting, they should say, I'm coming out in the name of Jesus. I'm free from drugs. And again, if they feel like after they inject, no, I'm coming. I'm telling the power of God will hit your body. You come out of You find yourself, you don't want anyone to inject yourself. That's how you come out. Your weights are powerful. Your weights carry more weight in your life than anyone's weights. If me as a man of God, I say you, you, you will not die, you yourself will die. You will die, your weight can crush your weight. That's how no one can reach you. Whether they reach you, their weight can't wait. If you say no, it can't. Because your weights are powerful. So how do you know you are growing? You grow on your tank. You grow on your tank. Mature people, they think before they talk. <coughs> hmm? They what? Think. But many people are babies. Their mouth is ahead of their mind. They first talk, and then they think later. Now that's dangerous. You talk, 
and then you know there are things you can't with all these words. So that's why think before you talk. And the more you mature, the more certain you should just go quiet sometimes. I'm not talking with you. Hallelujah. Now, let me close with this. What are some indicators of a child? I gave you one last week. I'll give you one. Indicators of a child. For a child. What are the indicators? The signs of childish behavior. Childish behavior, they prove that you are a child. One of it, you know, you see a child in, in, in church, they leave their phone on loudspeaker. So during the message, do John, 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 and they are walking out God to answer. You see that this one is a child. Because when you mature, you put your phone on silence, and well, because you're in the house of God, the house of God is more important than anything else at that time. Hallelujah! You see also a child in that being. You see, to go to to you see how the child to go to to go. You are seeing a child when you're mature. Your phone is on silence because you have come to the house of God. Hallelujah! And if you are using your phone, maybe you are using for 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 writing notes or telephone or Bible, but it's on silence. What your hand? You come in church and then you're on Facebook and WhatsApp. You are a child because you don't know how to value. There are a lot of children in the church today. During times of service, they are on WhatsApp. And there are many. He said, I want to change. And it's already just, yeah, just chatting. I'm putting those three tweets. I said, he said, he, he. The, the preacher is preaching, it's been chatting. And when, when, when they clap, they say, Amen. They also say, look, look at them. Absent minded. Amen. Amen to what they didn't understand anything at all. Absent minded children. Children, they look on time. When the pastor is preaching, they look on time. Children, they, they look on time. What are we going? What are, what are we going? Children, children, children. When you mature, when you're in church, you know, this is valuable. I want to get it. Hallelujah. I want to get it in the name of Jesus. So all this is coming to the point I gave you last week on Friday. Children are undisciplined. And disciplined children. I told that the child doesn't know when to sleep. Even when they are, even when they are dozing, the one says, "No, mommy, I don't want." Children are undisciplined. Perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you being blessed? Amen. Are you being blessed? Amen. Every woman you see, the eyes must chest. You are a child. Every man you see, you just have to say yes, yes, you are a child. Hallelujah. I pray for you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Come at what? There are some men, every sketch is attractive. Some women, every chest is attractive. Okay. Let me teach you. I said, let me teach you. <laughs> Children are undisciplined. Did you hear that? They are what? Undisciplined. Now today I'll touch one and we close. So I'll, I'll take time on childish behaviors. This one is very, very radical. The second one to me. That's what we're going to finish from. Children places their priorities. Places. P-L-A-C-E-S. Places their priorities and interests on things that have little or zero importance. They place their priorities and their interest on things that have little or zero importance. 
So, I know you are maturing if I see your priorities. Your priorities, they tell, are you a baby or are you a mature person? Somebody can go for a party and not come to a service. Baby. Baby. Because to a baby, a party is more important than being in the house of God to hear the word. So can you see? They don't see the value of hearing the word. They don't see the value. They would rather go to a birthday party and not come in the house of God. What are you seeing there? A baby. Priority and interest. Review baby will do. Are you seeing these things? So, if somebody can sacrifice a service at an expense of, of baby shower, I'm going to a baby shower and you sacrifice a service. Mature people, whether they are coming late from work, they have come, they have to come down some God. I don't care whether it's the last time I must be down some God. Hallelujah. But there are some things we will not control. Maybe with the bosses that are difficult, they are not going to be late. Or maybe you are in traffic and you are in traffic today. Something beyond you. But mature people, their heart is pumping up, is panting after being in the house of God. Hallelujah. So when you mature, you look forward to Wednesday. When you mature, you look forward to Friday. When you mature, you look forward to Sunday morning and Sunday evening. Hallelujah. That's the sign of maturity. Wednesday is on your mind. Friday is on your mind. Sunday, wake up early in the morning. Everybody, job. 5 or 5 a.m. Wake up, wake up, put what the bath is this in you are. We are kicking them and hey, hey, change time, change time. Those are mature people, they don't find the system. Being in the house of God is cardinal. I can never miss the house of God. Hallelujah. When you mature, your priorities and your interests become of importance. Now, let me let me begin to go through this. I'll just hold on for extra 10 minutes and I close. Listen carefully. A baby, to a baby, a balloon is like a national crisis. When a balloon pops, boom, the baby, yeah, 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 yeah. You will see, not me, balloon. Ah. There, there will be no peace in the house. To a baby, what? To a baby, that balloon into our world or into his world, the balloon is the most important thing ever. And when you are a mother, don't just say, hey, say, Mama, learn to help them because they are two babies. Tell them, oh, I understand, I understand, no problem. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. But I'm going to buy one. Hallelujah. Because for to you, balloon is only 50 rand, 20 rand. It's not important. Hallelujah. Babies, they make big thing out of a small thing. For example, how do you make a baby? Simply because they were taken out of the group. They say, I'm never going to change again. Baby, be taken off the group. Or simply because the pastor didn't call you to pray for you. I'm never going to change. Because the pastor never called me. You are a baby. You need to grow up. Hallelujah. You must mature in the name of Jesus. Babies take small things and make it what?
So men will take you like a baby. They just want to play. But when you mature, this is the way you place yourself. You can wear a jean, but you wear it nice. That's why there's a statement that people say that people are going to address you or address. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is important to know that your priorities and your interests reveals your maturity level. So out while we are going, things of God become number one. The word is number one. Change is number one. Hallelujah. Prayer is the You know, the way, everything about the way that talk. It's first. If it's Wednesday, I must be in the house of God. You know, go from where God and family be in the house of God. Hallelujah. Because we are growing now, the things of God become number one. So it be number one. one. What must become number one? The things of God, the word of God become number one. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me show you a boy in the Bible that new priority. And I mean a boy. A boy. A boy. Below 15 years old. I'll show you the Bible. This boy, new priority. Ah, hallelujah. That's the people struggling. Do you know why God is not first in their lives? I've taught you to see that Matthew 6.33 should become your lifestyle. Seek the kingdom of God first. And then all these things shall be added unto you. Listen, it's not a house you need. It's God you need. It's not money you need. It's God you need. I'm telling you, if, if you are God, get along well. Money become your home. Because God will give you wisdom how to make a money. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth. If God and you are in a good relationship, God will teach you how to make money. Oh, I must, I must hustle. I must. No, it's not. That's not what you need. You need God. You need to know Him. Once you know God, you know money. Because God is a gift of money. Once you know God, you know healing. Well, everything you want is in God. But can you touch Him first? Hallelujah. Amen. I need the help. It's not the help you need. You need God. <laughs> I must make much, I must work hard. Ah, it's not hard work in interest. You need God. You need God's voice. You need God's weight. You need God's direction. Hallelujah. When you mature, you really know that what I need in my life is God. Oh, my friend, when God comes in your life, healing comes. When God comes in your life, prosperity comes. When God comes in your life, marriage comes. When everything comes, when God comes first. Everything comes. Everything comes. All oh, these people just are just moving around. No, 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 no. If they just understand that once I get God first, everything will be sorted in my life. Everything I'm telling you, children problem will be sorted out. Body problem will be sorted out. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I want to see the sister, she will be very restored. In a few days, I want to see her. Everything come. This is very resting. It's in the presence of the Lord. It's rest. Now, when God does this miracle, it's done already. Go and tell it. And bring more. Because it is done. And when you go to a sweet, you find it in God. So, what is just the main symptoms clear enough? People of God, let me show you this boy in the Bible. Live to answer by faith in the name of Jesus. I want to become like this boy. You have to see the 
boy who knew priority. <laughs> you know, I've come to see that when I was in the campus, everyone was talking about how they're going to, to work in industries, make money. But you see the Lord, the Lord told me, I don't want you to work. I want you to teach my people the word. Oh, all right. And I knew that okay, I'm called to work in the kingdom. So I put down my engineering. And the Lord told me, he said, hey, boy, I want to make sure that you don't lack food. I want to make sure that you don't lack money. And when God told me that, I stepped into it. Hallelujah. Now I'm telling you, I've never lacked. I've never lacked. And I will never lack again. And I'll keep coming out in the name of Jesus. God bless people to support the vision. We are not a lot in this, but we are paying these people. God is doing it. Amen. Hallelujah. And those who are going to our own place. Oh, yesterday I was just looking at something in God. <laughs>
maybe the elder did not just say, okay, this is the boy, let's feed you. But he was in the temple, 12 years old, in the temple, parents. Make sure your children tell them the power of being else of God. This is a boy of 12 years in the temple. Why should a child of 14 be excused from the house of God? Why should a child of 17, 19 be excused from the house of God? When the boy of 12 was in the temple, hallelujah, he was in the temple doing what? Sitting in the midst of the doctors of the what? Of the what? Doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. So remember what I told you, when you mature, the word of God becomes first. So Jesus was 12 years in the body, but 100 years in the heart. This is the boy just after the word. So can you see you can be young in the body and age, but old in the heart. To become a tour in the heart. He was asking questions and hearing them talk to him. Age 12. Now look at this. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why have you dealt with us like this? Behold, your father and I have sought of this sorrow. And he said unto them, How is it that you sought for you look for me? Don't you know I must be about my father's what? Business. I said, Tell me about it. Listen, when you mature, you take God's business as your business. I must be about my father's business. I must be. That means you must find something to do in the house of God. Hallelujah. The business of God's house becomes your business. The word is important. The things of God is important. Hallelujah. Stand up on the feet. This is very powerful. This is about when you mature, your priorities become right. Hallelujah. Just grab your offering, put it in your hand. Thank you, Jesus. When you mature, you develop. Swallow every disease, 
Swallow every sickness. Swallow every weakness. Swallow every addictions. Swallow every spiritual problems. In the name of Jesus. Receive one cup and one more. Then I'll lead you to a prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Your grace abides to me. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, you are beautiful. Your face, your face is all I see. And when, and when your Thank you. 
May peace be yours in the name of Jesus. May grace be yours in the name of Jesus. May God open the door for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever was stuff is becoming easy in the name of Jesus. Any disease in your body, God has healed you tonight. I say God has healed you tonight. May you sleep like a child in the name of Jesus. May you sleep like a child in the name of Jesus. I disconnect you from evil. I disconnect you from evil. I cut you off from the cases in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Wherever you go, things will work out for you. People will favor you. In the name of Jesus. May the help of God fight for you. God is right to do battles. Thank you, Lord. Just close your eyes and worship Him. Praise Him. Tell Him thank you all tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Tell Him thank you all tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise Him. Let's give Him praise. Thank you. 